Mr. Speaker, the question was not how many resolutions have been passed. You can't live in a resolution. You can't live in a photo op. You can't li live in a press release or a promise. He created this fund a year and a half ago, promising to, quote, accelerate housing. So how many houses have been completed? And by completed, I mean houses with walls and roofs and doors and people living in them. How many are completed? How many? Le très honorable Premier ministre. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the opposition's housing plan consists of wagging a finger at municipalities and saying, you better build more homes or else. Mr. Speaker, we have a better approach than that. We actually work with municipalities to build more homes, and we're seeing the results of that housing plan. Recently, alongside British Columbia and the City of Vancouver, the member for Vancouver Centre announced the groundbreaking of the construction of 154 new affordable housing units close to transit in the heart of Davie Village, which will also house Community, which is a non-profit organization providing safe and secure family, uh, services for individuals and families living with HIV-AIDS. L'honorable chef de l'opposition. cannot live in an announcement. You can't live in a press release. You can't live in the Prime Minister's talking points, which he's having so much trouble reading, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> This Prime Minister is now presiding over a massive decline in home building. In fact, last year, Canada built fewer homes than in 1972, and this year, home construct, home, housing starts are down 32 percent. And by the way, to end the suspense, the number of homes that have actually been built by this so-called housing accelerator, zero, what? nada, nothing. When will he stop the talk, end the bureaucracy, and finally get something built? Yeah.